third law of uh, Newton. Newton's third law. Every action has an equal and an opposite reaction. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction, which means anything that you do, anything that you do in one direction will give you the result in the opposite direction. So scientists usually pack a lot of fuel inside a rocket, ask them to push that fuel through a small outlet, which they will burn using a combustible material. Okay. Uh, are you good in uh, uh, using fire? No. Who is good in handling uh, match box or match stick? Any... Anybody from girls? Anybody from girls? Okay. Please come. Equal Oxygen. Okay, almost there. Okay, very good, super. Also, there is one other reason behind all these things. Density. Okay, also good. Okay, very good. So you are almost there. There is a difference between polar and non-polar elements or compounds. What is the most non-polar thing in the Commonly is it petrol. Petrol. That is very easy to burn and it is used for water and transportation. Okay. So when you fan send it. This is a another petroleum byproduct. It's a camphor. This is used for your uh, everyday need of the uh, puja. Okay. Stop burning. Are you sure? Maybe. Maybe. So wait. Uh, maybe another two minutes. Thank you. 
Is there a small pocket of air that has formed around it? Because of the heat, the water gets evaporated around it. Amount of uh, air do you want to suck 
to burn that. Because you need a lot of oxygen from the atmosphere to burn, huh? You know that uh, fire triangle, right? Heat, heat, oxygen, combustible substance. So, for all this uh, fire triangle to happen, you need to have a little bit of uh, changes in the uh, conditions for it. For burning around 1 kilogram of camphor, you need a lot of oxygen, a lot of burning material and everything. Okay. Similarly, all these things will happen. So, ask this question. Okay. Kerosene. Kerosene. That you find it very often in your uh, homes before you enter, you wash your hands. Okay, alcohol. Okay. So, sanitizer, based on the level of uh, uh, components that are there inside it, you can also create quickly burn things. Okay. So, this is the three experiments I wanted to do today. Uh, you know, any questions you can ask me, I will do Any questions? What is the property of the elements that determine them combustible or not? So if the compounds of hydrogen, carbon and oxygen are not present in an element, it will not be combustible, right? It will not be sustainable for long time. It will burn, but it will quickly die. Okay. 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 Thank you. 
then W of 40 means 10 degrees winter temperature. 40 is the normal temperature at the uh, summer. So they don't mention it as summer. So 10 degrees. So if you want to start an engine at minus 10 degrees, that oil is needed for that to first make that uh, parts move. Because if it is very cold, it can't move, right? So ice will be formed. And if it is a very cold temperature, like somewhere in uh, Kashmir or uh, Switzerland, you can't expect the car to start, right? So what they do, they add this engine oil into the uh, engine oil block, and with that, they will be able to determine the temperature for it to run. So then they will want to that. So every, every oil is tested for running in that particular engine. That is how they find the transfer in that. Unless, until it, it becomes like uh, minus uh, 20 or 25, it will not burn and it will not make the engine go. If it is 60 or 70 degrees, it will suddenly burn and it will create a completely empty engine block. So, the engine will not go. It will be not favorable friction for it. is at a distance of 50 km. Very good. Excellent. So, this is called mathematically finding the proportional value. So, if I am able to move from point A to point A at a particular distance, at a particular speed, which I can use it for finding the acceleration point. I can also determine the acceleration point for a log of fire. Okay. That is for acceleration of fire. So, uh, in vehicles, why is it a uh, different exhaust not when it is cold outside? When we start up the uh, engine. Okay. So when we start up an engine in the uh, summer, it uh, does not produce a very low uh, uh, exhaust note. But if we start it up in uh, snowy conditions, it uh, produces a very deep note. Very good point. Uh, okay. I, I, I presume this is a bike. Okay. Bike or bike. car. Bike or car, whatever. Okay. So this is a bike. So this is a bike. Bike means what? 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 at a particular uh, temperature and particular conditions. For example, there is a rubber cement which doesn't allow water to enter. So, bottom side there is an uh, engine block which uh, has the lubricant or which is used for making the engine oil. On the top there is a combustion chamber. This is a 
ring light. It will come. It will move the piston <coughs> down and it will create a stroke. This is one stroke, two stroke, three stroke, two stroke, and it will come away. So this will go to the wheels. This wheel will rotate. This is how our engine works. So this is completely fluid, but the exhaust will have a hot gas that has been burnt gas which is from the engine. So this will be around uh, 600 to 700 degrees. So 700 degrees Celsius air that is burnt air will exit through a exhaust which is under open temperature like 30 to 35 degrees if you are in Chennai. Okay. If you are in a cold climate, it will be somewhere between 20 to 25 degrees. Because of the night time, because of the night temperatures, there will be small amount of moisture inside the city. What happens with 700 degree Celsius first uh, air? will feed the moisture, it will change it into a small amount of water vapor, and the water vapor will come out gushing to the side. So this is how first time you start an engine, so you can start the engine, first two times it will become white smoke and it is in the downward or descent of the After that it will look calm, like, not even like black, it will look like a small, light, uh, transparent colored uh, air. Very, very fundamental design, so this is not how our engine actually looks, so uh, it is very different. How does the fuel get combusted inside the chamber? So, I without a very important thing is spark plug. When the spark plug inside uh, the engine, so when the first the piston starts going down, it will suck the uh, fuel and it will also there will be something called as a rich fuel mixture. So there is something called a air fuel ratio that is being there and it will come here. So as it starts moving up, there will be suddenly a small spark. This is like uh, what Amma uses in the kitchen for starting the flame with the water. That's a spark. It's a spark, right? That's the lighter will be there and it will create the uh, necessary first initial spark to make the fuel burn inside the engine.
थैंक यू